We're going to solve equation for y double prime my, minus 4y prime minus 3y equals cosine of 2x. So this is non-homogeneous linear differential equation. Its general solution has form y equals yc plus y prime. So it's the sum of the complementary function and a particular solution. So we start in the first step. We start by finding uh, the uh, complementary function. That is the same as the solution to the homogeneous differential equation 4y double prime minus 4y prime minus 3y equals 0. So to solve that, we set up the characteristic equation 4m squared minus 4m minus 3 equals 0. That ends up being quadratic equation. Um, to solve that, let's use quadratic formula. So to find m, we have to do 4, negative b, right? Plus or minus square root of 4, um, b squared, so that's 16, minus 4 times a times c, divided by 2 times a. So that's 4 plus or minus square root of 16 plus, negative negative gives us positive plus, 16 times 3, times 4 um, in the denominator, or I should have said 8. Oh well. So that's 4 plus or minus square root of, that's going to give us 64 inside the square root. 8, here it is. So that's 4 plus or minus 8 over 8. So from here, we're going to get m equals 4 plus 8 over 8. That's 12 over 8, which is same as, um, I can divide out 4, right? So it's 3 halves. Um, or m equals 4 minus 8 over 8, that's negative 4 over 8, that's negative 1 half. Okay, so that means that the complementary function, or the general solution to this homogeneous equation, is c1 e to the power 3 over 2x plus c2 e to the power negative 1 half x. We got this part. Next, uh, let's find the particular solution. So we got that part. Um, let's move on to step two and find the particular solution. So particular solution, yp, has the same form or similar form as the function of x on the right, as the gx on the right hand side of the non-homogeneous equation. So since it's a trigonometric function, cosine of 2x, then particular solution um, will have the following form. a cosine of 2x plus b sine of 2x. And our goal will be to find constants a and b. And to do that, we just have to plug in that solution into our equation. So that means that we need to find both the first derivative and the second derivative. So the first derivative will be, um, let's see, I have to use chain rule, right? So it's 2 or no negative 2a sine of 2x. And then here, that's um, 2b cosine of 2x. Okay, so next, second derivative. Uh, that's going to be now negative 4 a cosine of 2x. And then from here, derivative of cosine is negative sine, and I'm using chain rule, right? So it's going to be negative 4b sine of 2x. So now I have to plug this all into my differential equation, I'm going to copy it here, I'll say plug into, so that it's in front of us, plug into 4y double prime minus 4y prime minus 3y equals cosine of 2x. Okay, um, I will be applying those coefficients as I go, so second derivative has to be multiplied by 4, so I'll get negative 16a cosine of 2x 
minus 16 b sine of 2x so I just plugged in the second derivative over here and distributed 4 next I'll have to plug in the first derivative and I will be distributing negative 4 so everything will be multiplied by negative 4 so that becomes positive 8 so plus 8 a sine of 2x and then times negative 4 minus 8 b cosine of 2x right and then finally minus 3y so negative 3 times y it's negative 3a or minus 3a cosine of 2x and then minus 3b sine of 2x and I don't have space for the right hand side but the right hand side is cosine of 2x y equals cosine of 2x so what I'll do right now I'll just collect all cosines together and all sines together and I'll as I collect them um, I'll factor out cosine so for example I have cosine of 2x here uh, cosine of 2x and then one more cosine of 2x so as I put them all together and I factor out cosine of 2x I'll get the following coefficient it's negative 16a minus 8b and minus 3a cosine of 2x and now sines plus so same same story negative 16b plus 8a and minus 3b sine of 2x and now here's the right hand side cosine of 2x now it's going to be a little bit easier for me to combine like terms uh, here i can do negative 16 and minus 3 negative 19a minus 8b cosine of 2x plus uh, negative 16 negative 3 okay so also negative 19 b plus 8a sine of 2x that's the right hand side okay so we're ready to determine the constants a and b and to do that we have to correspond the coefficient from the left hand side to the coefficients on the right hand side because we are looking at the identity right this is an identity so coefficient of x uh, I'm, I'm sorry coefficient of cosine of 2x on the right hand side should match coefficient of cosine of 2x on the left so we'll set equal set equal we'll set equal negative 19 a minus 8 b and 1 the coefficient here is 1 that equals 1 right and then coefficient of sine of 2x on the left should match the coefficient of sine of 2x on the right but I don't have sine of 2x on the right hand side what does that mean well it means that its coefficient is zero it's there it's not visible because its coefficient is zero so um, I'll maybe I'll do that so plus zero sine of 2x I'll make that note zero times sine of 2x I guess I need to extend this a little bit So set equal. So that means that negative 19b plus 8a equals 0. And now I have this little system of two equations with two unknowns and I'll use basic uh, methods from algebra to solve that. So I think I will use elimination method. Um, I'm going to rewrite this system so that I have terms in the same order. So I'll get negative 19a minus 8b equals 1 and 8a minus 19b equals 0. So I will be using elimination method. For that, I'll multiply the first equation by 8. So let's say I'm eliminating a. Um, yeah, first equation I'll multiply by 8 and the second one I'll multiply by 19. That will give me negative 152a minus 64b equals 8. And then 152a minus 
361b equals 0. Now I can add those two equations and a is gone so it's negative 425b equals 8. So from here b equals negative 8 over 425 and let's say I'll use equation 2 to find a. I'll use equation number 2 that means that I'll get 8a minus 19 19 times negative 8 over 425 equals 0. I'll just write this way 8a plus 19 times 8 over 425 equals 0. Then from here 8a is negative 19 times 8 over 425 and then to find a I'll just multiply by 1 over 8 on each side and this way I can cancel 8 over here in the numerator so that makes it a little easier. Um, so finally a. a is negative 19 over 425. Okay, and that means that our, we found A and B, that's A, that's B. Therefore, the particular solution to the equation is, why P is, I am, well, I'm looking at my first page. It's A cosine of 2x, right, I'm looking over here where I started step two. Here's the form, but we now found A and B. So, uh, let me write it down, it's A one more time. Okay, right here. Negative 19 over 425 cosine of 2x. Cosine of 2x. And then minus 8 over 425 sine of 2x. Okay, so that's the particular solution. And then step 3 is to write down the general solution to, um, to our equation. So one more time, the general solution is the complementary function plus particular solution. So y equals uh, yc, the complementary function we found in step one, it's c1 e to the power three over two x plus c2 e to the power negative one half x, and then plus the particular solution, here it is. So minus 19 over 425 cosine of 2x minus 8 over 425 sine of 2x. So that is the general solution. That is the general solution to the given linear non-homogeneous equation.